Hi guys, welcome back to Art with Miss Karen. This week we are going on safari in Africa every single day. In today's video, we're gonna draw a hyena. So if you need a piece of paper and a pencil, go ahead and pause the video now and go get it and then come back. So let's get started. For our hyena, we're gonna start with a circle for the head. We're gonna make a square shape for the body because they have a really compact uh, form. So we're gonna add in a square for the body. And for the neck, they have a really arched neck, so we're gonna off the top of our circle, curve it down into the middle of our square. And then for the other side of the neck, off the bottom of our circle, that goes down to the bottom corner of our square. For the face, you can add in a small rectangle for the snout. And then we're just gonna shape off our, our square a little bit more to make it more of a slanted square. We'll give it a corner down here. Uh, let's go ahead and add some legs onto our hyena. So we're gonna start with the front leg. We're gonna make a curved shape for the shoulder and a short and wide rectangle for the leg and an oval for the paw. For the back leg, we're also gonna make a curved shape. And you can make this curve all the way off of the line that meets up with the neck. And a rectangle that is about the same length as our front leg with an oval for the paw. All right, let's tidy up some of these lines so that they don't confuse us too much. So I'm gonna get rid of all these square body lines inside of my back leg. And also that square shape that we don't need anymore. Okay. And then we're going to get rid of a little bit of it on our legs as well. For the back leg to connect the oval and the rectangle, just make some curved lines. And then get rid of what's in the middle. I'm gonna make a corner off the top of my rectangle to show the elbow. And now we're looking pretty good. So for the other legs, you can go ahead and mirror the same outline. Just make sure it's a little bit shorter. We'll do the same on this side. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and get rid of some lines we don't need in the face as well. So we don't need part of the circle that connects the muzzle and the circle that goes around the back of the head. So we can go ahead and curve that corner of our rectangle. And we can just go ahead and put the nose in there while we're there. So oval for the nose and we can make a curved line for the mouth. And then for the bottom of this rectangle, let's go ahead and make this a curved line as well. So I'm gonna erase the point of that rectangle. For the side of the face, I'm gonna just make this kind of a furry texture. We're gonna give them some small circle eyes with a right white reflection. You can color in his nose if you want. And then for the ears, we're gonna add an oval shape. Okay, we can get rid of some of that line. Inside our ear, and then add some furry shapes inside the ear that's closest to us 
to show the inside of the ear. Okay? We can even add an oval on top of his eye for an eyebrow. And we're also going to need, you know, for my hyena, his neck is looking a little bit too thick. Um, this line on top is actually going to be the line for his fur. Um, so I'm going to make this line his body. And then I'll follow that other original line for some hair. So I'm going to make some grassy shapes all the way down his neck. Okay? And then we're going to go ahead and add a little tail. You can make a line that goes up and make some grassy shapes on the end of it. And then we can also get rid of the line that connects the tail to that back leg. Okay? For the paws, we're going to go ahead and add in some toes. So we're just going to stay inside of that oval shape we made and make some curved lines. And staying inside of that oval shape. All right. Okay, our hyena is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and add in some of his markings. So hyenas are all going to be different. They're all very unique, but they mostly just have spots. And so I'm just going to make a bunch of spots that are kind of different shapes. You can make them almost like scribbled spots so that they look furry. And I'm mostly just going to make them on the top of his back. You can add in a few more lines on his mane to show that fur texture. All right, let's go ahead and add in some grass. And some scribbles for the ground. And there's our hyena. Thanks again for joining Art with Miss Karen. I hope you enjoyed going on safari with us today. If you want to share your art with me, go ahead and send it to artwithkaren at gmail.com and I would love to share your art with everyone else. Also, if you have a suggestion of something that you would like to draw, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I would love to see what you guys would like to draw next week. I hope to see you soon.